down in that hell everybody's still here. We are currently a level 9 motherfucking 5 bug, and we're almost a level 1 SWAT, so you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking today we're gonna play us Killing Floor 2. We're gonna do, try and get our killing our firebug up to level 10, get that sick level 10 skill, and get our SWAT up to level 1. Yeah, let's queue up. Let's just not waste any time faffing about. Using British words that don't actually exist. Let's just dive b -b 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 balls deep into the game. B -b 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 bad. Bad to the bone. Man, that reminds me of that old movie with, uh, what's his name? The dude who always looks old and tired and they put in movies because people think he's funny. Uh... Oh shit, this is gonna really bother me. Come on, help. He, he was in Bad Santa. Was he even in this movie that I'm thinking about? I think so. Now I can't remember the name of the movie. Problem Child? There was a lot of sex in that movie. Like a lot of it. Man, god damn it, what is his name? Let me double check if that's the right movie. Because there were two movies out around the same time that I remember being equally terrible. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking of Problem Child. All right, hold on. Maybe I'm not. Th there were two movies at around the same time that reminded me a lot of each other. Problem Child and another one. They had very similar, like, VHS cases. I'm starting to think that the guy I thought was in this movie isn't in this movie. Yeah, he is not. It was John Ritter. Alright, now I remember. Okay. Gilbert... Gottfried was in it, though. I remember the bow tie killer. I don't know why this queue is taking three minutes. We're gonna requeue. I hope it's not broken. Alright, so that was the movie I was thinking of. The actor I was. Billy Bob Thornton. The actor was Billy Bob Thornton. He's not in this movie. What was the other movie like, Problem Child? that came out around the same time. Movies like Problem Child. Oh my god, it had a sequel? Okay. Maybe one of the sequels had unable to find matches. I mean, it's just survival mode on any difficulty. What the fuck are you talking about? There were sequels. Okay. Let's try versus survival. I'm not really interested in that at all. Well, that found a game. Is literally no one on the PlayStation playing survival? There were three problem childs. Holy shit. I didn't know that. I've definitely probably only seen the first one. And if I'm not mistaken, it had a lot of pretty raunchy sacks. Not like anything shown. It was just a weird movie. And my mind's probably remembering it wrong. Uh, what is Sean saying? Baby girl. Alright, he's just saying he's gonna go pick up his wife. 
Look Who's Talking was a good movie. I would say it's a little bit different than Problem Child. They came out around the same time, though. Late 80s. I remember the Martian Child. Martian Child was 2007? That feels way older. That's 10 years, never mind. Oh god, Junior. I'm sorry, I'm, I just... It was Parenthood. The other movie was called Parenthood. Problem Child and Parenthood had extremely similar... This is why. So, in Problem Child, it has the kid uh, standing on a, on a chair, holding his two parents up by the legs. His two adoptive parents. Parenthood has the dad holding two kids up by the legs in the exact same pose as they're surrounded by a circle of picture frames. Like, the exact same pose. I don't think this had Billy Bob Thornton here. No, this was a Steve Martin movie. I remember that. And Rick Moranis. I also remember he was in there. I haven't watched this movie in a long time. I don't know why Killing Floor isn't working today. But uh, I might retitle this So Looks at IMDb. Hakeem Phoenix. Dennis Dugan. I think these movies are set in the same universe. <sighs> Hold up. Or were they directed by the same dude? Alright, so let's go back to Problem Child for a second. It has a 5.3. A 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was directed by Dennis Dugan. So, <laughs> these two movies, which are extremely similar as my memory sort of uh, goes, are directed by the same man who was starred in Parenthood. Did he also do a casting role in Problem Child? Like an actual piece of shit. I, I wouldn't call this the greatest kid movies of the 90s. I don't know why that came up. Matilda, I can understand being on there. Fucking love Matilda, man. When they added that on Netflix, I had such a nostalgia kick watching that. I loved Matilda. As, well, I mean, I just I identified a lot with Matilda. As the nerdy kid with the shitty dad who just liked reading books. Dennis Dugan, were you starring in it though, Dennis? No. At least not that I can see. Okay, so he directed both of them, which is why they're so crazy similar. E equally shitty and have the exact same covers. What else did he do? He did Happy Gilmore and Big Daddy. I can I can understand now why I'm not the hugest fan of him. Oh god, the grown ups, Jack and Jill. Okay, so he he does a lot of. Oh, he was he wasn't a director in Jack and Jill. He was Al Pacino standby. Okay, those were acting roles. I want his director roles. Nope. Okay, he he, he also directed those movies and starred in them. Okay, I now prevents you Chuck and Larry, the Bench Warmers. He directed two episodes of Hope and Faith, which is just a really weird show to just randomly direct two episodes of, but whatever. Big Daddy. Happy Get War, Beverly Hills Ninja. He did an episode of Columbo. It's also weird. I think we might be stuck here forever, guys. Oh god, he was a writer in the Trump surrogate boot camp. What? Producer, Problem Child. He didn't direct Parenthood. It looks like he was just starring in it. What Parenthood just said he was directed? Am I wrong? All right, new tab. Parenthood. Bunch. I didn't put myself in a private party, which is probably a good thing we're not getting into a game, because I'm an idiot. No, Parenthood was directed by Rob.
So, fucking check this, okay? So, this guy, I think I've just unraveled the 90s. So, this fucking piece of shit named Dennis Dugan, or Duggan, Dugan, Duggan, I don't know, played in a movie called Parenthood in 1989 as a character named David Brodsky. And he then went on... <laughs> Two years later, one year later, to direct a movie that was, had very similar themes. You know, a black sheep and family issues and a little bit of things that were over at the top. Used the exact same layout for the art the, that they used in The Parenthood for, like, the uh, sample material and shit. <laughs> and then... That movie ended up being a trilogy. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of his stuff. Because he does a lot of Adam Sandler stuff. And I haven't honestly found Adam Sandler all that funny since I was like 12. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are scenes in Happy Gilmore that are ecstatic. There are scenes in Big Daddy that I enjoy. But the problem is, is I don't want to sit down for a feature-length movie and only enjoy parts of it. Man, I wonder if Dennis Dugan is dead. If not, you know, someone make it happen. He's old as shit. He was born in 46. So he's 80 freaking one years old right now? No, he's almost 81. He's 80 years old. 60? 70? Yeah. He's, uh... He's gonna be 81 later this year. Still alive, though. Lives in Wheaton. No, that's where he was born. I don't know where he lives currently. Are you ever just going to boot me out of this loading screen? Only guy, please. Because, I mean, if I have to close the game, it's going to cancel the stream. And then I'm going to have to reopen it. So I'm just going to keep vamping. I mean, no one's ever going to watch this video anyways. People don't like me. I'm not funny. Man, I know this is literally blowing no one else's mind, but it's blowing mine. Oh my god, what? He was in M.A.S.H.? Strange Bellafro Bedfellows and Love and Marriage. Danny McShane. Love and Marriage. Let me see the episode for this. Oh my god, he plays the sleazeball who was trying to marry this old Korean prostitute to get her out of the country because he was getting paid for it. Holy shit, that was Dennis Dugan? Like, I, I, I can remember that entire episode, like, verbatim. Okay, newsflash, if you don't know this about me, I'm a huge MASH fanatic. I own the Martinis and Medical box set. I have every episode of MASH ever, including the movie. I have scripts of episodes they never aired. I have... I love MASH. I, I think MASH is very much my humor. It's a very good dramedy. It gets a little heavy-handed when uh, Alan took over the writing. But I just... I love MASH. And holy fucking shit. This is like the greatest conspiracy ever. I totally remember this sleazeball trying to get married to this prostitute so he could freaking get paid for it. Shit, what other episode was he in? Damn it. Or is it just one where they're... No, he plays two different characters. So let's go back down to M.A.S.H. Seventies, Columbo. Where are you, M.A.S.H.? M.A.S.H. He plays... Robert Bob Wilson in Strange Bellifoes. So he went back on the show eight years later. He was on in 1975. I think that was... I think Love and Marriage was season two. I think. And then he was on eight years later. Robert Bob Wilson. I, I want to, like, go to, like, the actual Wikipedia entry for this episode. 
Potters descended to find that his son was is coming to visit the camp. He's a sale person uh, sent to Tokyo. Oh my god, he plays Potter's son-in-law who has an affair on his fucking daughter in Tokyo. This dude is a scumbag in every role he plays. <laughs> what the shit? I go back to his IMDb page and the next name of a character he played is just dick. <laughs> I mean, this guy just plays assholes and is an asshole apparently. What the shit? That's fucking hilarious. Man, it's been like 15 minutes of me just vamping to nothing and this loading screen has done nothing. I'm, uh, I am not enthused. <sighs> Alright, I guess we'll close it. I'm not gonna get rid of this video, but I'm definitely gonna rename it. I'm gonna end the stream and I'm gonna reopen it and we'll try doing some more killing for it.